So we all know that uh, Shintaro Furukawa at the latest financial briefing stated publicly to investors and obviously to the world that Nintendo will not be releasing any new models of Switch here in 2020. This is important because there's been all these rumors and reports out there about a Switch Pro coming this year. Digitimes, of course, saying things like it's going into mass production to release middle of this year. We also have, um, you know, Machizuki, who formerly of the Wall Street Journal, and other analysts out there uh, that have basically said that this is coming, other reporters, a lot, basically every single uh, verifiable source that isn't directly from Nintendo is saying Switch Pro is coming this year. But Nintendo seems to have shut down those reports. But I'm here to tell you that not only is there hope that a Nintendo Switch Pro is coming, what Nintendo is saying to me, almost confirms the idea it's coming. Now, the Nintendo Switch itself released back in March 3rd of 2017, and basically, it's just stayed as it was until last year in 2019. Now, at the very beginning of 2019, Shintaro Furukawa did do an interview uh, with a magazine, or I should say a newspaper called Shenkai in Japan, and there he said they have no plans and have not even thought about doing a price cut for this model, nor have they thought about releasing any other versions of the Switch. They essentially said something very similar this year in the investor meeting, except last year it was said at a time when uh, it was not necessarily an investor's meeting, it was just a an interview opportunity. And we all know that the Switch Lite and the Revise Switch ended up coming out last year, which for purposes of the Revise Switch is just basically a longer battery life. But see, that's not where the story ends, because this year they said the same thing, and you might be thinking, well, it, this is at an investor's meeting. They won't lie to investors. There's liabilities involved that they lie to investors. But Nintendo lies all the time. See, investors don't just pay attention at investors' meetings. They paid attention to that interview last year. There is a very good reason for Nintendo to lie about this, and it's the same reason they had to lie about the new models of 3DS. Now, I don't actually have every model of 3DS in existence. In fact, this right here is actually a DS, the original fat DS. Uh, but this is a 2DS XL uh, with a Pokemon case on it. It's my daughter's. And Nintendo, uh, back in the 3DS days, publicly stated from Reggie fils at the time that there would be no new models of 3DS. And this was before 3DS XL was a thing, the new 3DS, etc. So there would be no new models of 3DS. He said it, Shigeru Miyamoto said it, and so did Satoru Iwata. Two weeks later, they unveiled the new Nintendo 3DS. And then they said again later there won't be any more models. And then they did the 2DS. Then they said there won't be any more models again. Then they did the 2DS XL, etc., etc. So Nintendo has a history, especially with handheld devices, of doing these revisions and kind of lying about them. And the reason they lie about them, the reason they, they, they could tell a white lie to investors is Nintendo's number one goal when it comes to investors meeting is to ensure um, brand loyalty and to ensure confidence in what Nintendo is doing. They are launching a brand new version of Switch for Animal Crossing, right? That Animal Crossing Switch bundle that looks absolutely gorgeous. They are releasing that. They also are not releasing Switch Pro probably for the next five months or so, uh, maybe not until holidays. So Nintendo wants to instill confidence in the current momentum of Switch that consumers should keep buying the platform. Nintendo is not going to say or even hint that a Switch Pro or a Switch 2 or whatever is coming until they're ready to announce it. They did the same thing Last year, it just doesn't address in an investor's meeting. It was done through interviews. So people are, are kind of clinging to this fact that because it's an investor's meeting, they, they you know, that, that they're, they're going to be sued out the butt, basically, by the investors for lying to them if a Switch Pro does come this year. That's not really the case, though, because investors are only going to sue if it's aff affecting their ability to invest in the company. See, if Nintendo said there's a new model of Switch coming at this investor's meeting, or they hinted that a new model was going to come, you know what happens? Nintendo's stock prices actually go down a little bit for a while, and it actually negatively impacts investors because now, until that model comes out, a lot of people don't have a reason to buy a Switch then. Why buy a Switch when you know a new one's right around the corner? Why buy the Animal Crossing bundle when you know a newer, more powerful, maybe even the same priced Switch is coming later this year? It massively hurts their sales. Nintendo's going to take every opportunity they can to say, hey, look, we're not releasing a new Switch. It's not happening. Sorry. But Nintendo always does this. They don't talk about new hardware or new products or new versions of, of existing products until they're ready to unveil them. 
And that's what Nintendo seems to be doing here. Just because it's set at an investors meeting doesn't change anything. In fact, a lot of actual um, journalists out there have already come out on Twitter and other platforms to kind of say, hey, look, this is pretty par for the course for Nintendo. They're going to be in denial mode. And while you might say, well, this wasn't in a Q&A section where Nintendo maybe tells a white lie, this was actually a prepared statement, that's actually even further evidence that probably a Switch Pro is coming because... Nintendo knows the rumors, they know the reports, and instead of denying the rumors and denying the reports, they're just going to say, we have no plans right now to release one in 2019. No plans right now, could release anyways. So, again, it's all circumstantial, right? And if you only want to believe Nintendo's letter of the law, you are more than welcome to believe anything that comes out of Nintendo's mouth, despite the fact that Nintendo has lied to you numerous times times. Nintendo lies all the time. They lie because they're trying to protect their trade secrets. They're trying to run things on their own schedule. If there is a delay in the Switch Pro, well, they never announce it, so then it doesn't feel like a public delay. Basically, Nintendo likes to control everything about their marketing. And at this point, Nintendo does tell a lot of lies to control that marketing. They have a literal history of over a decade of telling lies to consumers and to investors in order to protect future announcements. And it, they've never been sued for it. They, they've lied to investors before and never had investors sue them for it because the lies were all to the investors' benefit because investors know this information is going public. These aren't private investors' meetings. These are public investors' meetings. So they know that, uh, hey, we have to be a little careful in what we say, how we say it, or go in denial mode, or just try to shut things down. Uh, so Nintendo stops getting asked the questions in every interview. Because here's the thing. With releasing this statement, the interview questions are going to stop. They're not going to interview anyone at Nintendo from now through E3 or whatever and ask them about a Switch Pro or new hardware because Nintendo has already got a public statement out from the investors meeting that we are have nothing planned, so there's nothing to talk about. But uh, we know better as consumers. We should know better by now that Nintendo always lies. They always lie ahead of launching new hardware. And then you might be going, well, here's the thing. If Nintendo always lies, then why do we believe anything they say? That's a fair point. Uh, but they lie about very specific things, typically. Hardware. They always lie about hardware. So every time they say new, new hardware is coming, does that mean that they're all telling a lie? No. There have been years where they've said there's no new hardware coming, and there wasn't any new hardware. The difference was those years didn't have a bunch of rumors attached to them. It didn't have a bunch of reports. didn't have all these outlets. Many of them, by the way, from the Wall Street Journal, the Digitimes, uh, to, you know, uh, I, I believe uh, it's just on IGN and a few other places reporting on this stuff. Uh, these reports wouldn't exist from multiple sources if there wasn't smoke and there wasn't fire. So reality is Switch Pro is coming in 2020 and uh, you, all the people that want to deny it can get mad at me and laugh at me and, and call me names and say I'm stupid and that I'm clinging to some false hope or whatever, whatever people want to say. You know, call me an idiot. I don't really care. At this point, I just know what Nintendo's always done. They've always lied. Every time there's been rumors, and the rumors have been correct about new hardware pretty much 100% of the time. When you have this many rumors, this many reports, and this many sources, it comes true like 100% of the time. This is happening. Like Switch Pro is probably in production right now, like being mass produced. Oh, and one other point to bring up. Uh, Nintendo in their financial report did, you know, did something that typically um, people don't uh, take a look at. And what they ended up doing is lowering... Um, their forecast on the number of the current Switch models they're going to be producing over the next however many months from a year prior, which doesn't make any sense when you have Animal Crossing coming out, and that's a huge game to launch in the first part of this year. But the reason that they could be lowering production of this is because they know the Switch Pro is right around the corner and going to be taking some of those sales away this summer. So that's just something to consider as well. Uh, it, again, it's kind of a useless piece of information because Nintendo slows down and ramps up production all the time. But Switch is kind of peaking right now. There's not really a reason to slow down production in the moment unless you know there's new hardware coming. Anyways, that's all I got to say on this, folks. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. We're not going to talk much about Switch Pro unless some new reports come out. I just wanted to address the comments that Nintendo made. I will probably do one more conversation on this with a group of people on the Nintendo Prime podcast later this week. Otherwise, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Ruffeljance from Nintendo Prime. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe for more content, hit that bell icon so you get notified of every stream, every podcast, everything we do on this channel. It's a lot of hard work going in here, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Like, okay, not really a lot of blood, but some sweat and tears go into this work. So uh, if you feel like supporting us, hit us up at patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime. Buck a month. 
I'd appreciate it. Otherwise, uh, just share it with your friends. Enjoy the video, and uh, yeah, stay classy.